guys welcome to another video and in this particular video we are going to talk about what are the different type of accessors and also we are going to talk about what how do they impact depending on different scenario and it will basically give you a overall knowledge about the accessors and events if you are preparing for some interview or something then these questions will definitely ask in interview if you are beginner something because mostly you know interviewer ask this kind of question whenever you are appearing for any web application security based role so do completely watch this video and let like share you have any query write in the comment box so let's start with different type of accesses so there are reflected accesses there are stored accesses there are you know uh, blind accesses there are self accesses so these are some of the variations of accesses now the let's uh, start from the first one that is your stored accesses so stored accesses are usually really very critical the reason being is uh, let's take an example so you have something known as uh, product feedback or something comment you can do on a particular page once you purchase something from flipkart or amazon and there you can write the review about the product right so let's assume that you are actually you know uh, buying a product product and writing the comment behind this and instead of writing the normal you know excellent good kind of comment you have write, written some script and that particular script is getting executed that means you will have the stored accesses and stored accesses are really very dangerous most of the time because you provided inputs are getting stored in some part of your application maybe some database or something and it is getting ripped trip by whenever somebody visit their particular page so this way an, an attacker can basically utilize this kind of accesses payload or this kind of variations of accesses to steal your cookie and perform various other operation as well, as well. that's why stored accesses is really very dangerous now come to the next part is your reflected accesses now reflected accesses is also another type of accesses where your provided input is directly reflected back so it's like throwing a ball to wall you throw the ball to the wall the ball bounces back to your own right hit the wall and bounce back so similarly you injected a, a script let's say a script alert accesses and uh, you put inside a search box and that search box result whatever it returns like the research result for xyz or whatever you have searched let's see you have searched for the accesses script and you are getting the same alert pop up box coming in front of you that will be comes as your again reflected accesses so reflected accesses is not something that can be ignored or it usually ignored but it is also very very high uh, in uh, severity in most of the time also some people say is medium because the uh, impact is sometime uh, depend from different environment to environment or type of application but reflected accesses are also considered to be one of the high impact kind of vulnerability then comes your dom based accesses or so dom based accesses is something known as you know something based on a client and only document object model so if you see any html page it will have something like as head and then you will have body then you will have different section right so a document object model is something that uh, html page typically you know are uh, designed with so you can have something known as document dot get element by id get element by some name or something like that and if you are able to you know control that uh, id and make an accesses form in the client side only remember uh, dom accesses doesn't usually go to the server it will only store at the client end only so based on different scenario you can uh, or any attacker can basically exploit the dom based accesses again uh, dom based accesses also high but uh, most of the time you know it's really challenging for some one to find out the dom based accesses that's why uh, usually people don't find it but it's not something that you can ignore or you should ignore you can also learn about dom based accesses and find out how it is typically found out so i will put one link uh, maybe in the description box you can go to there and uh, learn about different dom based accesses variation and master your skills next come is your self accesses now this is one of the question that typically interviewer ask so in self accesses what happen basically is you are providing your name uh field let's say you have some profile section where you can provide your name address phone number and something like that and that particular address is only visible to you okay it is not every uh, visible to everybody but it is only visible to you so in this particular address field if you could put some accesses payload and that is getting executed then it will be called as your self access because it is only visible to yourself not to public right now it's not something like that self access again can be ignored but sometimes self accesses also make some great impact by chaining it with some social engineering tricks 
one can usually uh, ex explore the self exercise again it's uh, most of the time uh, if you have uh, like found in some bug bounty platform the reviewer will typically reject it but you shouldn't give up you should find out some way to get that executed uh, xss executed by the victim right so that's where the self xss needs some social engineering or some different tricks to uh, make it complete or fully working xss so that's what your self xss is like not something that should be ignored but not something uh, is something always as a high or severe priority so it depends on the scenario how whether the xss can be exploited or not uh, based on like what what is the different way you are using to get the self access executed now the last variation is your blind access so blind access is something uh, pretty much came i think 5 or 6 year back early or maybe even if it was there not everybody was looking for it but it has gone as popular till last 5 6 year now in blind access what happen basically is uh, you submit your review or let's say you submit some comment or feedback and that typically goes to the back end admin or maybe reviewer or maybe some uh, other person or maybe super admin some someone who is actually only visible to that super admin but not to the public again so only if the admin or super admin approve then only it will go to the client end but uh, yeah typically what happens is instead of providing a, a feedback or uh, let's say some comment or review which will typically go back to the super admin for uh, evaluation you put some access payload and uh, once you get some response also, okay somebody is open that link or open that text whatever you submit it then you confirm that as unblind accesses now there are some other tools like access hunter and other which are typically used by different guys for uh, exploiting blind accesses so uh, have a look about those tools again i will put some link in the description box you can go through that and blind accesses also these days has become really very famous and popular so you should also try for uh, blind accesses most of the cases wherever you have you know review or something kind of scenario which typically go back to super admin so i hope you would have got some knowledge about different type of accesses and i'm sure that uh, this video will help you to understand stuff side bit better about different variation of accesses do let me know in the comment box if you have any query or anything do it like subscribe and share have a great day thank you